Hey everyone, hope you're having a great uh, first of the year. Happy New Year. I want to go over something quick and easy with you. It's uh, radiator caps and what they do and how they work and why they can cause a whole slew of problems. Uh, first and foremost, radiator cap is there to help the cooling system build up pressure. The higher the pressure in the cooling system, the higher the boiling point is of the coolant water mix. Uh, if you ran no radiator cap or you had one that wasn't functioning at all, didn't hold any pressure, your vehicle would overheat much easier. But now let me show you something of a typical radiator cap. Now this is on a car that has a cap and a overflow tank or a puke tank, whatever you would like to refer to it as. Let me just show you real quick. Uh, this is a Jeep Cherokee, and it's got you know the coolant tank over there, the puke tank or overflow tank. It's got a line that runs over and then into the radiator right there. You can see the hole there. Now the radiator cap, I don't like the lever vent style. Some of you know what I'm talking about. I do not have one to show you in this example. They have a lever on top so you can release the pressure. Um, just old school me, it didn't come equipped with it. I don't like it. Um, Anyway, that's just me. All radiator caps somewhere, or at least most of them should, it'll have a number on it. Like this one is 18, I believe. I think that's 18. That denotes how many PSI this thing will hold back. So this seal here rides up on this lip inside here. So that seals the radiator. That seals it and allows it to build up pressure. Once the pressure reaches 18 PSI, it will push that seal and spring. This part here, it'll push it. And it'll allow that seal to come off the seat to fill up this area. And this area will then allow the fluid, the hot coolant, to go through that little port there. And it'll follow that line, and it'll go into that tank. Safety disclaimer, don't ever, ever, ever take a radiator cap off when the motor's hot. Uh, it, it can seriously injure you. Uh, it can kill you. Bo boiling coolant can cause third degree burns. So anyway, like I said, what happens is this seal gets compressed a little bit. It gets pushed only from pressure. So it allows the fluid to go past. Now the other seal, this seal here, seals on the top edge here. So that's your final seal. That's the one that prevents it from leaking when the pressure is above 18 PSI. Um, it shouldn't go too much above it because at 18 PSI, this is basically a blow-off valve. Now, when the system cools down, when the system cools down, pressure comes down. As pressure comes down, eventually it's going to go into a vacuum because you've pushed fluid out. So now the fluid has to come back into the radiator. What happens is, this little piece here is a one-way valve, and it lifts up slightly when the vacuum is created inside there. It lifts up slightly, so now this chamber that's inside here allows the fluid to suck through that opening there. It'll come through in between that spring. Not sure if you've ever seen a vehicle with the... Uh, with a hose collapsed when it's cold, like an upper hose or a lower hose or whatever, and it's completely collapsed, that's a beta radiator cap. Uh, it's not allowing the fluid to come back. What can happen with that is it'll push the coolant out as it's getting hot, not let the coolant return, and then the next go around, it'll keep doing it. So eventually you'll push coolant out and overheat. So that's that's the main purpose of a radiator cap. It's a, it, you know You need a good one. Don't cheap out and get a cheap one. It's not worth it. Um, I always go with the good ones. I, I don't like to cheap out and stuff like that. It's just not worth it. Just not worth it. Now, there's another design that has a expansion tank that is not a system like this. It doesn't have a puke tank or an overflow tank. It's just one single unit. Let me walk over to another vehicle that has that. Here you can see some of our lovely vehicles that we have here. Oh, there's a Jeep with a blown Hemi motor. Go figure. And here's a GM 36 that's blown up. Go figure. So now this design here has this type of cap. So there is no cap on the radiator itself on this vehicle. It's just this. And what happens with this is it does build up pressure, but this has fill lines to it. 
So you have areas of expansion, whereas in the other vehicle you don't in the radiator itself. So on this one, what'll happen is it'll build up pressure. The pressure will come out in, in the form of steam and it'll push out the same way as the other one will. And then when it cools down, it'll just suck back in you know, cool air, but it'll never push coolant out unless you overfill it or unless there's a mechanical issue, you know, a blown head gasket or whatever. So I just thought that was interesting. I thought some people should know that. Some of you do, some of you don't. I hope some of you found uh, some good information in this. If you like my videos, hit the like button. Please subscribe if you can. It's helping me out if you can, and I'll keep making these videos. Like I said, I hope you like them. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm getting ready to go home. Keep wrenching.